Okay, guys, this is a haul, and it's all screwed up. Nothing is going to be in order, but I went to the auction house today, and I won this lot of children's books. Look at how cute this little kitten book is from 1949. You know, the only thing about these is there's always scribbles. Like, there's always damage from children. Children are so destructive, right? Am I right? Look, that's like a burn hole or something. Cute book, though. Four puppies. See, look at scribble, scribble. It's all pencil, it looks like, though. So I should clean out. 1971. Lord of mercy. I might try erasing some of it with, like, one of my fancy erasers. Look at this. Three pigs. 1973. You know, of course, this one ain't scribbled in. The Together book from... 1972. No, this one's not. Night. From 1973. Look at these cool 70s pictures. I love all the color. Ten Little Animals. From the year. 1972. Those are cute. Frosty the Snowman from 1972. Dogs. 1972. That's cute. Most of these say third printing. So a lot of them are not originals. Then I got this like funky bag thing that went with it and I got a really creepy Furby which is fun. Lucinda the little donkey. Uh, it doesn't say does it, it doesn't say a date. It just says it's Rand McNally on all, all rights reserved. Oh MCN 1952 for Lucinda. No no scribbles in this one. That's good. The Four Puppies Who Wanted a Home. The corner's a little rough on that one. 1950. This book has been loved, but not destroyed. It might have just been from storing, because there's like dirt. Might have just been dust from a shelf or something. Little Red Riding Hood from 1974. These are, this is cute. Peter Rabbit. From 1947. That's cool. Let's see. I don't know if this is supposed to have more pages. All I know is that Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. I guess it could have ended that way. I end my day with supper. Um, 1957 on Counting Rhymes. Oh, look at So some of these are a little, that one's a little folded. Some of these edges, page edges. Cute book. Bible Boys and Girls from 1947. These, some of these Bible, children's Bible books have got gorgeous pictures in them. Oh, just Twilight Tales. This is no longer really attached all that much. From 1947. That's cute. Got my, get my dust all over here. Um, the Jolly Jingle Book. From 1951. That's cute. That's a cute book. A Prickly Tale. Look at this one's been totally written all over. A lot of pen, too. Freaking idiots. You let your kids do that crap. Look at, look at me saying this like we don't go and do that. 1950, 60, 1, 2, 1963. This has pencil in it. Might be able to erase some of that. Gingerbread Man. 
two kittens. 1966. That's cute. There's some pen in here, though. Keep your kids away from pens. They're bad. 1950, 66, Mother Goose. Boys and girls in Mother Goose. That one's cute, huh? Another little golden book. Riddles, riddles, A to Z. 1972. That one's cute. This one is Look Who's Here. From 1964. Well, those are pretty illustrations, huh? Then I have... Christmas favorites from 1951. I like the, the stained pages, like they're already discolored, so you don't even have to dye them. Uh, 1973 for this guy here, color. And I got three more books The Little Golden Picture Dictionary. I love these little dictionaries, they're so. They've got such cute little pages in them. Uh, 1973. I love these. Love it. Johnny, J uh, Johnny Appleseed. It's a Disney book. That one's cute. It's from uh, 1969. And The Three Little Bears. From the year 1974. So that one's cute. And this is what the inside of that creepy looking bag. Hey, look at this. A pin. I have to give that one to my husband. I don't think this bag is going to stay with us. All right. I have other things from other places that I will grab. These are the books I got that I showed in my little short. Um, I got them at that thrift store in Fayetteville. So it's our wonderful world. And I got like six different issues. But these have got great pictures in them they're pretty cool and they're all like really different so when you look at each one like the sections they're all very different and really interesting looking here i found you a pin where in my kids books apparently they're pinning things a cotter pin a cotter pin this one oh, has you figure skating. Thanks. I'm sure it's dull and it won't last me very long, but thanks. Look at my husband threatened me with a knife. Right? I don't make threats. I don't make threats. I make promises. So yeah, these are from like the 50s, I think. I do have them listed in my Etsy. You can find that link below 56. Yeah, these are like 55 to 57-ish. All of these books. Our wonderful world. And then one of them I have for less because the majority of it's like an index. Um, it still has some pretty neat stuff in it though. Like look at that. Intrepid. Hot air balloons and birds and plants. They've all got really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. And this one is 11. They're like, and they're huge, you know, they're, they're just awesome. I mean, they've all got like almost 500 pages each, I think. This one's got space. It's pretty, they're just, they're just cool books. They are cool books. And then this one is number 17. I have in the Etsy listing, see, look at this cool little automobiles. Um, in the description box because I couldn't get a video short enough of a flip through of these to make to get onto Etsy. Everything I uploaded, whether it was 40 seconds or a minute and a half, they're like, it must be under one minute. And like, even though they were whatever. Um, so I did put in the description all of the sections of each book. You know what I mean? So, like, this is 18, where it's mostly index. But, look, you got a turtle there. 
So you get a big chunk of index, even though there's still pictures. It's almost like a dictionary, I guess, where you have the occasional illustrations, but it's not all index. There's also some, you know, the last few sections with illustrations, but I did mark this one less because of the fact that it doesn't have as many illustrations. So yeah, these are what I got from that thrift store the other day. And then I have some other things to show you from recent events. Um, so we went to a thrift store locally that's moving and they sold completely out of their inventory. Um, and we went in the final days, so it was make an offer on things. So um, we haven't, we don't go to that thrift store much anymore because they've kind of changed things and they charge a fortune for crap. Um, so I grabbed these because you can never have too many manila folders. This is the ultimate homeschool planner, but I don't think any of it has been used. So I think I'm thinking about listing this one in my Mercari store. Then I got all this paper. Okay, let's see. I haven't actually looked at it. Hey, where's my knife? Let's play with my new knife. So you all can go through this paper with me. Look, if they wanted $3, you can't even get it open. Look at that, it's gonna be wasted. And this bottom page is gonna be wasted because they had it taped like this, you know? More tape. Um, so this is like really good quality paper here. I, I don't, it's not quite cardstock. I mean, it's thick, so that's nice. Some more of that. Then this one is a little, this one's thick and glossier, right? Here's some more of that hard stucky stuff. Okay. And here's some more of the glossy stuff. Oh, that one's just plain paper. Card stock. This is gloss. That's, yeah. Why Bill Virginia, American School Company? Sell the box. Hmm? Sell the box. I don't know. Do whatever you want with it's it. It's a cool box. This is regular paper, but it's really nice quality. Like it's not pr just printer paper. More of the glossy stuff. Glossy. Regular. -y. It's like really nice paper. I don't know what you would call that, but it's like really smooth. I don't know if that's like a special kind of paper. Yeah, it is a special kind. It's called fancy. Fancy paper. More of the glossy stuff. The glossy stuff is cool. Like I'm going to paint on it. It's cool. It comes out cool when you ink, use inks, and it kind of spreads out in a certain way. All right, card stocks and regular paper. So yeah. Lots of, this was a pretty cool bundle of paper. I don't know if I would have paid $3 for it. Uh, I did give them a good donation because they do offer food programs for locals. And they really do offer a, um, a place. You know what I mean? A, a place for the community. It's very warm. It's very welcoming. It's very... Everybody's really nice, you know, um, and they really are a lifeline for a lot of people and their church organization that does this and uh, they really are a blessing to the community. So I, I do like to support them, but not when they charge a fortune. Then they are also a salvage. So I got some of their salvage items, including things like this is broken, but I can just glue that back. Some of them are broken. Look at that one. Look at this. This one is the same thing and it's brokener. But I, I could just, I'll just do those. Um, so those are big ones in the cases. And then I have some loose ones in here. So like, look at that. These things. This one, uh, this one is broke. The tip is broken. 
over here. I don't know if it's, I don't know if I have it. I mean, these, these aren't old. They're like made to look old. So this is a curtain hook. This, I don't know why. This. Resin solutions. That's it. That's resin. It feels like wood. And then these. So yeah, that was pretty. Oh, I have another one of those. Um, that was pretty cool that they still had a lot of this stuff. They still had a lot of really cool stuff. Um, but it's just not anything that I'd be really looking for. And I'm sure that it's all, I'm sure they, they were able to find a place for it, you know. Um, then I got this book, which I thought was pretty cool. And I know a lot of people really like the old photography book. So this one is called Pictures in a Minute from 1960. And it teaches, it does, it shows you like photography tips from then, which means it shows you really cool pictures from then which I think is pretty cool. Um, packaging, because you can never have enough packaging. They had like this big cart full of postal, like USPS stuff, um, but I don't use the flat rate boxes, so it was all the priority flat rate stuff. Look at these bags. This is like, but again, taped, so yep, ripped that one. You know, they would have been better off clipping them with a binder clip or something, you know. So I would have been pretty upset if I bought these, like, and had to do that. Um, more of these. I have been buying up. Gross, the creaky bag just fell on me. All of its gross, creaky bagginess. Um, I've been buying up some medical books because I like the pictures. They work well for creepy stuff. So I have some creepy ephemera packs that I'm building. And a lot of them include like really bizarre medical stuff from like really old medical dictionaries. So that's going to be fun. And then I got another box of paper. We won't like sort this one out. This is um, business card paper. This is like fancy um, paper. I have some of this stuff. I use some of it. Um, that's like a cardstock. Some yellow. Some different colored stuff here. Red. Some of that same kind of paper but in pink. Um, more paper. More pink like really pink. Uh, photo paper, Kodak, really glossy. Sheet protectors. More paper. Because I, I don't, I mean, I'm really like, I really need paper. I'm running really low on paper. <laughs> Said no junk journaler ever, right? So just lots of paper. Ooh, this is sticker label. Those are cool. I'm sure there won't be any more of that though because I think it's cool. More photo paper here. More business card paper. More colored stuff. Look at that red. That's like came from Dollar General I guess. Bright office paper they call it. More business card. There's like a lot of business card. What are you guys doing with business card paper these days? I mean, I know I can make little bitty cards and stuff, tags and whatever, but is anybody doing anything else with them? Can you give me some ideas? More paper. Ooh, this one has some Christmas. More business card paper. Photo paper. Colored paper. Green. Look at that green. Oof. That is like the greenest green I've ever greened. Ah, some more of that Christmas. Then I've got... It's like a beige. It's 
pretty cool. This is cool colors. That's pretty neon. Ooh, look at that. What was that? What was that? I guess it was something that went flying. Yeah, it was. I'll show you. That's like a cream color. That's just colored paper. Look at this. It was stuffed in there. A little thing. So, yeah, that's what I got from the the um, salvage store. All of this stuff. So I'll move this, and then I'll show you some other stuff. So I got some of these, because they're, you know, a card material, and that's awesome. So I got these. It's three books, okay? Understanding Human Behavior, and it's like, oh, okay, well, that's dull. But look at these pictures. Like, just really, they all three of these books have got really cool pictures even though some of it is like really weird content um but yeah like hypnosis so um just just stuff that's all different Like, there's no rhyme or reason to it. And they've all got terrific pictures. Like, look at that cover. You know? So, they have all got great pictures. You know, I, I just... It's all I can say, man. It's all I can say. Weird stuff. You know, I, I like weird... I like weird pictures. So yeah, some of the stuff you'll see at my live sale on Friday. I don't know when this video will be uploaded, but Friday the 5th, I will be live sailing. Um, so that, I've got a lot of books, but I'm just going to go through some of them. This is one of those albums. I love these. And I don't know how... This one isn't particularly old. Um, it's just made to look old. This was... It was manufactured in China. I don't know when. I don't know when it's from. But it's got... These are just cool. I like... I like these kinds of books. And then I got this trim. I got a ton of yarn too. But I've already put all of it up. Look at this stuff. It's like pom-pom with twine. In between so that needs to be untangled um, I've gotten quite a few ideals lately <clears throat> and this one is just Easter and I've had this one before so I grabbed that one I don't usually buy books at Goodwill but I got that at Goodwill then I got a bunch of vintage games so here's password and like this I love password because it's got these cards that look like this right look like this but then they are magic and they have words look at that ladder channel screen how cool is that i like those like i know this is a popular game but it just i just find it cool then i got this part cheesy which i think is really cool and it's, you know, from 64, I think. It's got an older game board. So I don't know how many pieces it... I don't know. I, I don't know if it has all the pieces. I have not been through it that far yet. So I've got to go through these games and see what they have for pieces. Mr. Spin Knows. This is a cool game. Right? This. you got all these little laces and then all these little dudes and then go to the head of the class this one's cool this one has a cool game board uh, and then you got cute little dudes so yeah and cards and dice and all kinds of stuff. 
I also got a whole bunch of greed, I mean, not greeting cards, playing cards. Most of them you have seen, um, but I'm going to have some playing card. I have some ideas on what to, on things to do with playing cards. So stay tuned because I might, I might make some videos of that. But in the meantime, I'm going to go make some videos of my dinner. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so that's what, that's the most recent stuff. Um, I, like I said, there's a ton more books and things, but this was definitely the coolest of the whole thing. So I hope you had fun on my haul. Ta-ta for now. Y'all, I lied. I got Rook. I like the Rook cards. They're really cool and they're really easy to distress. I don't know why, but they are. So Rook cards... And then from that thrift store um, in Fayetteville, I got these. And I really liked the boxes. I've never seen these before. So it has the rules. I don't know if all the cards are here. It's from 1970. But look at, look at this. Look at these cards. Like a dude. It's very dis discouraged at this woman who's dressed like a hussy. Um, so then this one has a timer in it. And this has two decks of these cards. Like I said, I'll have to see. If it's an interesting game, I might keep it. Because my girls, like, they do like playing games. And then there's this one, which is from 1970. I don't know if there's supposed to be things in there. I, I don't know. So this has regular cards, but they've got letters on them, too. So I don't know what's supposed to come in this, but I love the boxes. And, like, I would totally take this out and just use this box. Um, but anyway, I'm going to look into these games, and if they're cool, maybe I will keep them. I just don't know. Oh, yeah, see, there's supposed to be a little thing. We'll have to see. But, yeah, so now the haul is done for real. Okay? Ta-ta for now. For real. This time.